what's going on guys this is the night we are taking down the auto flowers they are definitely done they are all yellowed up kind of getting shrivelly in the leaves and they got some very dense very nice colas we got the uh, gorilla OG here and the star dog from short stuff seeds this is probably one of the frostiest auto flowers I've grown very nice smell come off that one this one's a bit more uh, kind of tangy and OG smell to it. It smells pretty good, but we'll see how she smokes. Um, but this one smells just absolutely amazing. Gonna be chopping them down. And because they're pretty much single colas, I'm gonna be able to chop them down and trim it all in one. So that'll be nice, just hang it all in one. And uh, yeah, that is the end of this autoflower run. And let's get to chopping, guys. Alright guys, this is the last day for the girls in the Optic 6 garden. They are coming down. The uh, Square One Genetics here. Super, super frosty. Super dense. Densest, frostiest buds I've ever grown. Hands down. And uh, yeah, so we are going to start taking down this canopy. Start with this one and work our way around. So this is the last of the plant. Just check. This is like the last plant coming down. This is the uh, bag number two. This is the frostiest of the frosty of all the plants. So, get a look at these buds. This one's actually like really easy to trim because as you can see, it's just really small leaves and not too bushy all along the plant. So it just makes it way easier compared to some plants where it's like tons and tons of leaf. And it's nice and lanky, so it makes it easy for trimming too. But last one, just about a trim jail, and uh, yeah, so excited about that. <laughs> Three days later. What is up, guys? We are back here in the garden, and check it out. We are all done the harvest. Everything is gone. We got to do a big cleanup here. We're gonna wipe everything down, wipe all the walls down, and uh, yeah, get this ready to go for the next uh, round. Great success in the harvest, and uh, the last plants are all hanging up. See here in the Optic 6 tent, we uh, cleaned that all up too. We just gotta clean up the floors, the dead leaves, and wash everything down. And uh, we are about to start some new clones in here. And here is the last of the plants. These are the square one genetics from the Optic 6 tent. We got the bag number two, we got the ocean fruit keeper. Got the autoflower there, that's the star dog. These are the last guys to finish up and gonna go in curing. And I'll have to say I'm very happy with the harvest. Very nice dense buds. Super frosty with all these girls, really impressed. Hope you guys had a decent 420 celebration. So also got some new lights in to do some unboxings. And if there's some growers out there who think the Slim 600H is a little too pricey, then these lights definitely might pique your interest. I got here the Slim 320H, which is going to be the next light I'm going to be running in my 2x4 tent. This light fits perfectly in a 2x4 tent and has one of the best light spreads out of pretty much most lights out there right now. And using all the same technology as the Slim 600H, using the industry standards LM301H LEDs, Cree XPE reds and deep blues, meanwhile dimmable drivers, and hookup ports for the master controller, which I'm going to be using here too. Also got the Slim 480H, which is for a 4x4 tent, so it has two less bars compared to the Slim 600H, making this light more affordable and still a killer light that has an awesome light spread and should produce very nicely. If you guys want to check out more info on these lights, I'll be putting a link down below in the description, as well as links to all the other equipment I use and recommend. We got the Slim 320 going here, just on 25%. Got these girls going here, got a clone in here basils, the beans, and uh, yeah, tomatoes and stuff. And we're just going, we're gonna be cleaning all this out too. 
and uh, get some more auto flowers going. And this will be the new light for the auto flower tent. Gonna be rocking the Slim 320H in this run. Should be awesome. Same technology as the Slim 600H, so yeah, perfect for a two x four area. All right, get a load of this, guys. We're going into week six or so. We fed the organic Stepwell Soil Girls uh, last week. We gave them their last feeding, so just water till the end. And the rest of the other seven, we're gonna give them their very last feeding. Advanced nutrients today. We'll be giving them a good blast of the overdrive and the uh, Scentsy Bloom, and that'll be the last one. And we're gonna slowly go into uh, flush with these girls. We were shooting for two and a half weeks, three weeks last time. This time I want to go for like three and a half weeks. Every watering I'm feeding with advanced nutrients with these girls. So after a while it definitely seems to build up and lasts after you stop. So that's what I'm going to be trying out with these girls here and see if it works out. Getting some beautiful bud production here. And these girls are starting to chunk up nicely. And for the last feeding we're going to be giving them uh, Sensi Bloom A and B, which is the base you need. Uh, Rhino Skin, last blast of that to make their stalks nice and good. Carbo Load, which uh, gets those buds nice and plump. Giving them some Overdrive too, which is great for the last phase of bud production. And we got the Bud Candy, which is for taste. And check it out, we're doing an update on the Optic 150 Veg. So check it out, these are the clones. These clones have pretty much been neglected for the last month and a half now. Uh, I just threw them in uh, half gallon pots and just let them do their thing. Um, yeah, just watering them. Sometimes they dry out, sometimes I just let them kind of go to shit. So they, they don't look the best, but they are definitely root bound. And as soon as I transfer them up, they are going to get beautiful. We got a bunch of the bags and ocean fruits and we got some new stuff. We got the gelatos. We got some Bosley sherbets going. So yeah, we're going to be trying those out. Optic 150 Veg doing a hell of a job. I think only have it on 50% power and yeah, just doing really good. So 75 watts and uh, yeah. Not much heat at all. Keeps it warm enough that the plants are happy and healthy, but you know, I, I could turn it up 100% and have it a bit higher and, uh, but it's not really needed for uh, vegging plants like this. They're doing pretty damn good. I actually topped these girls a little while ago, so I'm gonna top them one more time in veg and uh, do a bunch of uh, super cropping on these girls so once they get into the bigger pots. And I also want to say, make sure you go over to Team Optic LED. We got the new LED contest going right now, so make sure you go over there and enter. There's gonna be three winners and 11 ways to enter, so make sure you get on it. If you check down below in the description, you'll see the link to Team Optic LED YouTube channel. And if you go to the newest video over there, you'll find the link in the video description and the comment section. And we did find some thrips on these girls, so we have been spraying them down for the last week. I wanted to make sure I kill pretty much all I can before I put them into the the other room, because I don't really want that spreading. Uh, but it looked like the, the stuff I was using is doing pretty damn good. These girls got pretty lanky over the last month and a half. Alright, check this out guys. This is the harvest from the Slim 600 tent and the Optic 6 Generation 4 tent. It's all pretty much mixed together as I harvested pretty much everything together, just a slow one week harvest. And yeah, check it out. We got a bunch of God's Perps here. Beautiful God's Perps. Smells amazing here. The majority is God's Perps and then we got the Ocean Fruit and the Bag, which is Square One Genetics. We also got them in Sea Vaults. I just got those two. First time trying Sea Vaults and I really like them. We got the Bovita packs here that you can put in there and it really helps if you over dry your buds when you're uh, drying because it brings it all back, brings out all the smells and flavors. So yeah, that's what we got growing on here. So yeah, this is our harvest here. The big pots aren't all completely full, but we are trying to keep them separate. So we don't, we don't really want to mix up all the strains and stuff. Yeah, really happy with this harvest. Slim 600 and Optic 6 absolutely killed it on this run. I am really looking forward to next run. Big shout out to Seavolt for hooking us up with these curing containers. I absolutely love them and I love how it keeps it the perfect humidity. So I'll be putting a link down below in the description if you want to check out their website and uh, yeah, highly recommend. Also check back in on the Slim 320 grow. Uh, we just got some veggies in here right now. Beans are growing up. It's starting to look like we got some beans 
popping out there. So that's nice. Clone here, some basil, and some tomatoes going. Gonna get some plants in here right away once those clones are ready to go. Three days later. It was getting a little hot here, so we did turn down just a little bit. Uh, I think only 5% or so. And uh, trying to keep the temperatures down low. Right now we're at 82, so that's not bad at all. Uh, but these girls are nicely going into flesh here. They are starting to flop over like crazy. Everything is flopping over. But we're getting some really nice buds here. Getting some thick, fat, chunky buds forming up. Hope everyone out there is doing good, keeping busy in the garden and uh, yeah, not worrying too much what's going on out there in the world. That's why I would say good thing we have our gardens, keeps us busy, keeps us entertained and keeps us stock full of medicine. These smaller ones here have a really big canopy and very condensed so lots of small leaves and stuff so I gotta take all that out, I don't want that sitting around like that. I like it more like this where it's nice and wide open. All these bigger ones are all more wide open. Growing big fat chunky buds but kind of flopping over too so yeah. That's what we got growing on here guys. Check that out. Three days later. Giving these girls all water but what I noticed is these girls are flopping so hard. We got some really dense buds and they definitely can't hold up with their stems. I really need to get a trellis net for this tent. I had to kind of stick them in between branches so they're not hanging down and like falling into the dirt or hitting the sides of stuff and just getting in the way when I'm trying to water. That's really annoying so. All right guys, it is time to start some new auto flowers. So I'm gonna go with Star Dog again because it was super frosty, wanna try that again. I'm gonna try some 420 Fast Buds uh, Gelato Auto and uh, see how that goes out. So I'm gonna try two of these and one of these. So we're gonna just wet our paper towel, uh, put seeds in there and put it in a plastic bag and put it above the fridge and check it in about a day. So when wetting it, I pretty much just want enough to get this paper towel wet and nothing more. Kinda hard to do with one hand, but I'm gonna do this while it's inside the bag. But just to show you, it's just gonna get wet like this. I don't want excess water in here. If there is, I would pour it out. All right, and we got the next season of autoflowers ready to go. Three days later. With a week eight update with the Optic 8 garden here. Check this out. We got some chunky buds forming up here. Very cushy nugs. Golf ball size and thick and dense. Check this out, these girls are just flopping over here. This one's flopping to the side. This one's flopping over the side too. They are getting some weight on them. And as you can see here, we're getting some nice colors coming in. Nice yellows. So the flesh is definitely taking effect. This girl here is just flopping like crazy. All the branches now are flopping over. We were going into some issues with uh, heat with all the other lights. So now with all the other lights turned off, I can have this light a little bit higher. Now we are dealing with the outside temperatures that's going up drastically. Like in two weeks it goes up by 30 Celsius. So we're going to have to do some things to mitigate the temperatures once all lights are going again. Uh, probably have some windows open and should be okay. 
I really gotta keep eye on this. Like down here, we see some buds flopping over here. We gotta go in here and stick these up. Like this guy here, just flopping right over. We're gonna take him and just hang him over there. Should be fine. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing with a lot of these girls. Just picking them up and hanging them over. Next run, we're only gonna do five or four in the four by four tents. Nine, as you can see, the sea of green. It's pretty intense and it makes it harder to get in here and you know check on this lower stuff here and you know it just makes it kind of hassle especially if you want to get back there do some stuff with those plants to take all these out right now is just super hassle they'll be flopping and flying all over the place and that's not good so next run we're going to just do bigger plants and only five or four and try to fill up the same area but as you can see here, you can easily do nine plants in a four x four. Uh, as long as you keep them at a decent height, not get them too tall or too bushy, they seem to do very fine. It's kind of like the plants know their grow area size and they try not to like go too much into others. But if you let one plant grow in one area, it can grow huge and fill up the whole area too. So it seems like plants kind of know uh, what's around them and how much they should grow or how tall they should grow So that is something to think about Update on the exhale bag uh, My first one kind of looked nasty, so I threw it out. It was getting some like shit growing in it. This one's still looking good um, It's still nice and white mycelium in here pretty sure it'll be good to go for the next run the whole way through and uh, yeah, I think it'll be producing some decent CO2. Still need to get a CO2 meter. This other one here is still looking very good too. And we are about to start a new run. Got some clones ready to go. Just doing some quarantining and uh, making sure everything's dead on them. Three days later. So we're pretty much just now waiting for these girls to just to flush out. We're going to be watering them I think either tonight or tomorrow morning we're going to water them. Here's another good sign. We can see this is the most darkest plant here and we are seeing a sign of this leaf here getting uh, nice and light. So that means pretty much everything's going to go into flush really nice. And uh, you can see it on a couple other leaves here too. So that's a good sign. So yeah we pretty much got at least two weeks left of life on these girls before it's completely all yellow dying leaves. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how far we can push them, check the trichromes along the way and make sure it's not getting too amber. If some are getting too amber, we might uh, harvest them early. But yeah, we're gonna try to push them to 10 weeks on these girls, just so they're nice and ripe and nice and stony. Uh, that's kind of how I like it. I like to harvest around like 20 to 30% uh, amber trichromes. That gives me the more uh, body high and that's kind of what I'm looking for because I use it for my degenerative disc disease and that means I don't really want uh, uppity energetic uh, smoke. As you can see here we are still battling the uh, fungus gnats. We are killing lots but we definitely need to get some nematodes. I'm going to be talking to some uh, suppliers here soon. Try to get some of those uh, ordered up see how they work out but so far it seems like the traps do okay but they just can't kill them all it seems like but even with that these girls are coming out very nicely really can't complain got some awesome uh, bud production happening and they're very frosty and uh, looking very on point where I think we're gonna get a very decent harvest here three days later all right guys are you guys ready for the next round we are just about to get started here we got all the pots filled up we are doing the last uh, quarantine spray of the clones before we transplant them in. We're going to have three new autoflowers in the autoflower tent. 
and we're gonna have more veggies in here filling this up and once these girls are done in about two weeks or so we're gonna move uh, four of them from here and move them over here so we'll do five in this tent four in this tent and then the four smallest in this tent all right guys we are now in the optic 150 veg tent and these are the clones we're gonna do a nice big leaf strip we just leaf strip this girl we're gonna do a big old leaf strip on all these girls and then give them their last spray. This is what I'm spraying and it's done an awesome job so far killing all the thrips. Uh, this is Method 1 PPS and uh, I got this with my Stepwell soil. It's made for preventative uh, like fungus and bugs and stuff uh, but using it when I got a little infested has done an awesome job. And uh, we're gonna try some more out here right away. First, gotta do a big leaf strip so it's easier to spray all the leaf surfaces and make sure nothing gets missed. Check it out guys, we just did a massive leaf strip on these clones and got them all ready for transplant. Gave them a big blast in uh, Method 1 PPS. This was to kill the last of the thrips. I only found two live uh, adult thripes and I sprayed them pretty hard. And uh, I think we are doing pretty damn good because we had hundreds or thousands before and now I can barely find any. So I'd say we're pretty much good to go for the transplant and we got that all ready to go. So we're going to take you guys in and show you guys that. The Optic 8 tent is doing amazing. Buds are just swelling up like crazy here. I'm getting some really, really nice chunky buds. And they are flopping over still. I had to go through yesterday and this top nug here on that plant was just completely flopped over and almost trying to hit the uh, pot next to it so I grabbed it and flopped it over and it's, it's this one right here. I just flopped over this way and it sit all the other branches up pretty much so looks like that one's okay for now. With the power on the optic gate we're pretty much going in between like 80% and then when it's hot during the end of the day, uh, I'll turn it down to like 70% just to turn the temps down a bit. So that is it for the update for the optic tents guys, new round starting and uh, get ready for that so stay tuned and I'll catch you guys later, peace out.